Hi, my name is Darianos Kinney, and tonight we bring you a very special episode of College Campus Today. Tonight, we'll follow Max, a tour guide at a small liberal arts campus located in eastern Pennsylvania. Max is going to show you the beautiful, wonderful campus that everyone admires in PA, but I'll show you the truth, the cold, hard truth. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, I'ma give a great tour. One, two, three, four, I'ma give a great tour. So welcome to our beautiful quad. We're really gonna get our steps in today. The last tour got uh, 23,000 steps in, but you know what they say, it builds character and sculpts the calves. So um, take a good look at the lovely historic downtown Easton. Um, I love going down there to visit the farmer's market with my friends, get some great food. Um, they also have lots of fun festivals like Garlic Fest, Bacon Fest, and all of those fun activities are just a short walk down this hill. How do we get down there? Oh, don't worry about that. It's, it's just a little stroll. But what happens if there are wet leaves or it's icy? Oh, I mean, come on. College kids love sledding. This can be treacherous on a good day, let alone when it rains or snows. Nearly every RR film student has a story to share about the experience falling up or down the stairs. Many students try to find alternative ways to get down the hill, including using the street sidewalk. However, this path also has its dangers, since there is no crosswalk at the top of the hill to help students cross a very busy street. And depending on their next destination, the additional time it takes to use this path can often leave students late for their next activity. Whether students climb the steps or the hill, climbing the path is no small feat. And this path only becomes more challenging and dangerous when you are a student with a physical disability. Let's check back in and see how the tour group is. Whew. All right, hey. Whew. Really gets the pulse pumping. Oh, how is that for y'all? That's not too bad. That's, uh, anyone need a break? We're, we're good, to, good to keep going. Let's go. All right. Hey, so um, this, uh, this building here is the uh, Williams uh, Center for the Arts. Uh, you, do, you do painting and um, sculpture, I think. And I mean, it's no Ecopian, but it's, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, over here down there is um, 248, that's our film studio. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if the students are ever there. They're always walking around campus with their cameras. It's kind of annoying. Um, but anyways, uh, and, and that all the way down there is um, Buck Hall. That's um, for theater. Uh, kids that play, uh, you know, like play pretend or something like that. Uh, and they got like popcorn, it's pretty nice. So. Um, but I'll be honest, like, the only important thing down here is probably Don Juan's over there. Um, but it is closed today. So does anyone want some food? We can go Maybe back up the hill, get some, uh, some nice marquee. Isn't there a better way? That there is. Let's go this way. Here at Lafayette College, we boast the best shuttle system on the East Coast, the LCAT. Roll pards. The LCAT shuttle is on a specific time schedule that's on, you know, like 324, 327. It's at its location at the place, there to take you to where you need to go. Because of this schedule, the LCAT is reliable, consistent, and never late. Students always get to go where they need to go on time. Lafayette's campus is far from accessible to all students. No matter the student's disability, there is much need for improvement. You may be thinking, if this is such an issue, why isn't the college doing anything? Well, currently, the administration is working to redesign the stairs to make them safer for students to use and has an accessibility services office that works to help students with their individual needs. However, there is still more that can be done. For instance, having a more reliable LCAT system that works not just in the evenings on Monday through Thursday, but also on the weekends would allow both the arts campus and downtown to be more accessible. Furthermore, students who spend their day at the arts campus must make their way back up the hill to find food, unless they're willing to use their limited number of power dollars or purchase food using their own money. 
A more consistent LCAT or meal swipe option down the hill will make food more accessible to students. There are many ways in which Lafayette's campus can become more accessible to all students, and we have only discussed a few of the many important concerns here today. As you continue your college journey, think about this. How can you make a difference within your community that will improve the campus experience for all students?